Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I am delighted to be joined by Yaroslav Ponder, ITU Senior Strategy and Policy Advisor. And people tell me that informally you're known as Mr. Wissis. It's the first WISIS since the Sustainable Development Goals were set last year. And one of the big challenges, of course, is aligning the WISIS action lines with those SDG goals. How are you going to go about it? In fact, th we are not seeing this as a challenge. This is a great opportunity. And uh, our community was already preparing for this opportunity uh, since 2015, when we developed uh, in the collaborative uh, effort and the uh, WISIS SDG uh, matrix, which put uh, in a very nice and easy to understand uh, framework uh, how the WISIS action lines, in fact, can address and the uh, achievement of the SDGs and how the ICTs can accelerate the, the achievement of the SDGs. This is the reason why we are not talking in the WISIS about the challenges. We are uh, much more positive and we believe that we will be able to turn these targets which were set in September 2015 at the SDGs uh, summit um, into the great opportunities and the most important into the partnerships which will lead towards the concrete work on the ground. And talking about the work on the ground, uh, we are uh, always have to see what is happening also at the global level, but also at the regional and the national level. And this makes us believe hearing here at the WISIS Forum so many best practices, stories and uh, projects um, that in fact the work is going on, but we have to only provide the concrete orientation how this work, uh, which is uh, under way uh, can uh, be addressed in the context of the SDGs uh, and strengthened in order to help the nations uh, to achieve the SDGs on time. And how are you going to monitor that exactly you are on track and on time for the 2030 deadline? Uh, this is something what uh, we are addressing within the UN system and uh, tracking the all targets with the uh, statistics uh, provided by the governments, but also uh, we are trying to see how uh, the new sources of the statistics uh, it particularly uh, uh, addressing the challenges of the SDGs uh, could help, uh, help us understand where the policy makers uh, and um, also those implementers uh, can um, use in order to strengthen their efforts in particular areas. Of course, there is a lot of uh, challenges to be addressed. Uh, we are still uh, working heavily on the connecting the unconnected. We, are ident we have identified during the uh, UN General Assembly uh, overall uh, review several and uh, divides, uh, including the gender divide, which was uh, placed very high uh, as the cross-cutting issue on the agenda of uh, many WSIS action lines facilitators. Uh, and now this is the time when we are also with the communities organizing ourselves in order to make sure and that we have on the annual basis at the WISIS Forum uh, the good understanding uh, if we are on the track or uh, some corrective measures have to be um, implemented. So, of course, th we'll have another WISIS Forum in 2017, but 2016, what sort of spirit have you seen here at the Forum? This is definitely a big change. Uh, the outcomes of the UN General Assembly uh, decided to hold this WISIS Forum on the annual basis. Uh, and we have already planned uh, that for the uh, next decade we'll be using this platform together with all UN, UN agencies as the key place to discuss the role of the ICTs for the SDGs. Um, so we are kicking off a very nice uh, journey of uh, the building the community and in fact attracting the uh, other community working on the development issues and to uh, be able to understand that the ICT is a real enabler of the development. And this brings us to the cross-sectoral mm, planning uh, and moving from the vertical orientation towards the horizontal um, approaches, addressing not only the one sector, um, uh, but uh, the 
having incorporated ICT component in the health sector, in the education sector and the others. And we believe that this is um, a right moment to use the WSIS Action Line 3 work uh, to uh, make the real change. And from the participants uh, and from those who are coming at different layer levels, uh, from the Ministry of uh, the Infrastructure, through the Ministry of Modernization, through the Ministry of Education, Culture, uh, health. Uh, all those stakeholders are uh, here, also the private sector working in those sectors uh, are coming here to exchange uh, their uh, great uh, stories uh, and um, lessons learned uh, to sh and sharing uh, them with the other nations. And this makes this forum very unique that not only we are talking about uh, the high level guidance uh, but also we are uh, going towards creating the partnerships uh, which will help us to advance and uh, achieving of the uh, goals set by the Sustainable Development Goals Summit. And collaborative partnerships is really a buzzword here. Uh, uh, have you actually seen this in action? Have you seen people bringing to being brought together, sharing experience, mm. sharing know-how, sharing best practice? Yes, exactly. Uh, so this year we welcomed more than 250 leaders uh, who are addressing the um, a meeting in the uh, collaborative uh, high-level policy um, sessions. Uh, all this guidance now exactly today and tomorrow is addressed uh, within the framework of the Action Line facilitation meetings uh, where uh, the real partnerships are discussed, where the proposals and the opportunities are tabled to the all stakeholders that everybody can be part of those. And this brings us uh, to the concept of inclusiveness um, which uh, was proposed uh, once the WISIS was incepted in 2000. 2003 and 2005, uh, where we were committing towards the building the global information society, uh, but inclusive one. And so that's why it makes us happy and uh, to see so much of excitement and very nice flow from the high level guidance towards the real implementation and real action on the ground. And we hope that in the next quizzes for us, we'll have even much more uh, real examples of the implementation uh, of the actions generated via the WISIS uh, forum. Uh, also during the WISIS forum we have uh, the new components uh, which are fostering the collaboration and fostering uh, the outcome oriented discussions. Uh, we will have the innovation track, uh, we have also the hackathon track uh, where the experts are already joining the forces in order to work on some concrete deliverables and we hope that this will be uh, the spirit uh, which will be evolving in the future at the WISIS forum, attracting much more uh, stakeholders and grassroots working on the ground and willing to learn but also to share uh, with the others their experiences. Yaroslav Ponder, ITU Senior Strategy and Policy Advisor, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. And please do join us on the ITU YouTube channel where there are many interviews with experts here at the WISIS Forum 2016.